Okay. So now we want to quantify the optimal choice. So here we're now looking at this rule called the marginal utility per dollar spent. The basic idea is that something that makes you that um, that costs basically twice as much as some other product. should make you twice as happy. Because what's happening here is that I've got a budget constraint right here. I've got an indifference curve right here. Right, here's my budget, here's my indifference curve. This right here is my budget constraint. And again, in this budget constraint are contained price information and income information. And over here is contained utility information. that my optimal choice is right here, that, the, that at that point, the slope of the indifference curve is equal to the slope of the budget constraint. Or, that negative marginal utility of vitamins over marginal utility from keyboards is equal to the negative of the price of vitamins over the price of keyboards. Now, we can um, rearrange the terms. Cross multiply, get like terms on like sides. And if you do that, you get this, which is essentially this, that the marginal utility per dollar spent is equal across the two goods. And that's our optimal choice. If if this were true, then you should buy more vitamins because vitamins would make you happier for every dollar spent. On the other hand, then you would buy more keyboards. And by buying more vitamins, then what happens is that this marginal utility starts to fall, and then it will equal. Over here, you would buy more keyboards, and you would buy more keyboards, and then because of the law of diminishing marginal utility, eventually that utility will decrease. So, this equation that's boxed right here is our mathematical way of talking about our then optimal choice. This is our optimal choice.